The House of the Lost on the Cape is an anime movie that I want to check out. It's a little bit newer. Found about this one and grabbed it from the library. This one is about a runaway young girl named Yue, and she finds Yori, a eight-year-old, and uh, after a storm, they uh, they become runaways of sorts, and they're they are found by a kindly old woman named Kiwa, who takes them to this magical house that uh, if you stay there, you basically are taken care of, and the house provides good fortune. So they clean up the house, and the house basically takes care of them, and it becomes a sort of found family situation, which is really nice. However, they throw in a magical element, and it doesn't really take flight till near the end of the movie. Uh, this movie has solid animation. I like the like the story, the characters, everything is there, but it didn't really make much of an emotional connection with me, which is something that you need to have. So the, the movie reminded me of um, other films that have some fantasy elements that don't quite nail the emotional part, like Big Fish and Begonia. Um, so, you know, after the found family, basically, uh, you know, they get comfortable, things threaten to take them apart. Uh, this evil snake spirit or something comes from the ocean and it's up to the old woman to fight it. And then the, 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 her new adopted granddaughters basically have to help her defeat this great evil. And you know, they introduce some spirits and stuff and it's uh, interesting, uh, some kappas in there, a little mix of fantasy and drama, but it doesn't quite stick the landing in terms of a whole package of a film because the, the fantasy elements are introduced in the later half and it doesn't quite do much for the plot. In fact, if you just took away the fantasy stuff, the movie might even be more interesting. So The House of the Lost on the Cape uh, has some interesting ideas. You know, it has all the right elements there, but they don't quite mix them together in any effective way. So I give uh, this movie a 4 out of 10.